Namaste everyone. How are you? My name is Shubham Alok and I am here today to present with you my research. Uh, this I should not say is a new research. This is an old research actually done way back in 2018-19 I think. But I am revealing it for the first time today on this in this particular video. This is uh, related to the timing of events. How do we time events in Vedic Astrology? Not timing events, but it is more related to activation of yoga. You know, <clears throat> yoga means coming together. You know, two things joining with each other. And to be very honest with you, complete astrology is dependent on yogas. In every horoscope, there are different types of combinations that happen. Combinations between planets that happen. And it is with respect to these planets that we predict the results for any horoscope, for any native. Now, conjunction can basically happen two types. Two planets are conjoined together, situated with each other. Two planets aspecting each other. One planet aspecting another planet, whereas another planet is not able to aspect him back. Two planets aspecting each other is the most powerful combination. Two planets situated with each other is powerful, but not as powerful as two planets aspecting each other. Thirdly, planet getting aspect of another planet, but not being able to aspect him back is the third type of combination. Weaker than the two told before. And the planet being aspected by or being conjoined by the lord of the Rashi where he is situated in is basically the most powerful combination. So through these four methods, different planets in the horoscope get conjoined. And because of this particular conjunction, the result comes to the life of the native. And these are the results that we astrologers predict. Now, for any combination, basically, there are two types of result. One is result based on natural signification. For an example, you say if the sun and the moon are conjoined with each other, sun indicates the government, moon indicates the mother, mother can be in government job. The sun indicates father, moon indicates government, father can be in government job. Or sun-moon combination is a combination for government in itself. It, it is a combination for name, fame and status. Moon indicates fame. Sun indicates authority. It makes the person an authoritative person in society. This is the general result of a combination which comes through mixing the significations of the two planets in, the, in a combination. This is more psychological, this is more indicative. Sometimes 50% of the time it gives you some predictions, 50% of the time it just gives you a psychological analysis and not a prediction. More importantly, the major prediction happens in astrology because of house lordships. The backbone of prediction in astrology is house lordship. One cannot take even a single step in astrology without assessing house lordship of planets. Sages are very clear about it. Now, the point is, say sun, moon are conjoined. They will be lord of any two houses, right? You say sun and the sun, moon are the lord of the lagna in the second house. It makes a combination for wealth. It is a com sun and moon are the lord of the second and third house and they are mutually aspecting each other or, you know, situated with each other, right? Only sun aspecting moon, moon not being able to aspect sun, this condition will not happen, right? So mutual aspect or conjunction only can happen. If sun and moon are the second and the third house lord and they are conjoined, it shows financial struggles. If sun and the moon are the third and the fourth house lord and they are conjoined with each other, it indicates lack of happiness, problems related to property, problems related to family members. Sun and moon are the lord of the fourth and fifth house and they are conjoined. It indicates a Raja Yoga, good professional life, name, fame, status, everything. Sun and moon being the lord of the fifth house and sixth house being into, being into combination generally indicate a break in education, 
the ideas of the native going wrong, wrong investments, loss in investments, financial troubles. Sun, moon being the sixth house lord and the seventh house lord being conjoined with each other indicates bad marital life. Fights and marriage litigations, divorce. Sun and moon being seventh house and eighth house lord once again indicates the same things, problem in marriage, accidents, mishappenings, you know, uh, surprise, bad events, which shocks the native and all these things. Sun and moon being the 8th house lord and ninth house lord being conjoined with each other generally makes a native unfortunate and makes him suffer troubles in the hands of government, authoritative people, superior people. Sun and moon being the lord of the ninth house and 10th house being in conjunction or mutually aspecting each other is a Raj Yoga gives name, fame, status, good professional life, etc. Sun and moon being the lord of the 11th house and 10th house in conjunction with each other is a generally very good combination which indicates that person earns huge amount of money through his profession. And lastly, sun and moon being the 11th house lord and 12th house lord being in conjunction with each other generally indicates person is a spendthrift. But if the lagna lord is powerful or there are other money uh, money combinations, dhana yogas and the horoscope in that particular scenario, this person will invest money in different things, stock market, properties and other things and will also earn benefit out of it. The basic point being is when you see a combination, when you see a yoga, you have to take it into consideration while predicting in uh, while predicting a horoscope and there is no astrology without considering yogas. In that mixing the natural significations of planet and predicting accordingly is a common thing that generally people do, it helps you more in psychological analysis and helps you quite less in making solid predictions, whereas taking the house lordship of the planets actually helps you in making solid predictions, making predictions about the things which are going to happen. Now, the basic point is what I am judging here is in the horoscope, there is already a combination and you know how this combination is going to work, what this combination is going to give you. Now the point is when this result will come to pass. As I have also talked in the previous video, there is a money combination in the horoscope that is supposed to give you money, but there is a particular time when this money is going to come. To know about this time, you can use Dasha Antra Dasha, most recommended, which tells you when this money will get manifested and it will come to you. You can use transit which indicates free will, which will tell you what is the most appropriate time when you should do hard work in the area of earning money, accumulating money. And lastly, there is, you know, there is something activation years of planets. You must be knowing that. So the concept of activation years of planet is there is a particular age when the planets get activated and whatever result is indicated by that planet, that result comes to pass at that point of age. I take it into two ways. For an example, Mars. Mars gets activated at the age of 28. If Mars is, you know, if Mars is very strongly placed in the 10th house or Mars is strong getting connected to the 10th Lord. In that particular scenario, because a positive Mars is influencing the 10th house, it is supposed to give you name, fame, status, recognition and all these things. Now the basic point is when this name, fame, recognition will come, it will come either in the Dasha Antra Dasha of Mars it will come when Mars is activated in transit and it will come when there is the natural, natural fructification age of Mars that is 28 years of age. Not only this, many people have this Mangal Dosh. I don't believe into it, but still. Many people have this Mangal Dosh and it is advised that if you have Mangal Dosh, you marry after 28 years of age. Why this is advised? Because 28 years is the age of fructification of Mars, rather you say maturity of Mars. So once you have crossed 28 years of age, all the facets of Mars, Mars is anger, Mars is frustration, Mars is patience, Mars is generosity. All the aspects of it have completely developed into your personality and by the age of 28, you have understood your anger, your generosity, your philanthropy and everything. And, you know, we say about children, you know, that children keep on growing, their mental thoughts, their thinking keeps on changing, their approach towards life keeps on changing. This change is completed at that age when a planet matures. So you say all the changes related to Mars matures by the age of 28. 
So if somehow Mars is connected to the seventh house, then up to the age of 28, like Mars being the seventh lord or situated in the seventh house, it does not apply to the aspect in the seventh house, this maturity part. So if Mars is aspect, uh, situated in the seventh house or if Mars is the seventh lord, then what you want in wife, how you want your marital life to be, complete maturity and understanding in your marital life will come by the age of 28. Hence, it is not advised to get married before this age because somehow you lack the understanding. Either understanding about marriage you lack or you lack the understanding of what you want in marriage, what you want from your spouse. So this is advised. Now based on this particular concept, not base, based on this particular concept, but this is a different concept. See, understand the point. My thought behind this technique was based on this concept. But it is not this concept that I am taking into consideration. My concept is like, you know, everything have an age of maturity, age of activation. So when there is a combination of two planets or two planets aspecting each other, all the four types of combination that I have talked about in the starting of the video, then when the result of that particular combination will materialize, when the result of that particular combination will fructify, both in the matters of if there is a combination of a planet, you say there is a Sun-Jupiter combination. Now, Sun Jupiter combination, Sun indicates soul, Moon in, uh, Sun indicates the soul, Jupiter indicates wisdom. So, wisdom related to soul is supposed to come with Sun Jupiter combination. Person is supposed to be spiritual. Now, what will be those important years of life which will bring you major milestones in spiritual development when this understanding of the soul, learning about the soul will deepen? To know this, you have to time the activ activation of yogas, maturity of yogas, what we are dealing in this particular video. The concept is pretty simple, but because I have made the table, I am not telling you the concept basically. If you see, look at this particular table, there are four ages that are given. One is the young age from the from one years of age up to 20 years of age. That is the first activation set. At this point of time, the person identifies the streak of yoga in his personality. Another set of years is after 60 years of age. At this, in this set of year, person, in this set of years, person reaches the completion of the yoga result and all the ages falling in between indicate the major significant milestones. For an example, this is a particular PDF that I have made to present in this video. For an example, you see sun gets a sun moon combination. The combination of sun and moon gets activated at the age of 12, gets activated at the age of 21, gets activated at second year of age and third year of age. So when there is sun and moon combination, I have told you the result, right? Father being in the government job, mother being in the government job or mother being authoritative in life, right? Or father being very much loving, caring about the child, gifting things to child is supposed to happen. Now this will first happen at the second and third year of age and lastly happen at 12 year of age. The third activation which happens at 21st years of age will be the time when the combination of sun and moon which is supposed to give name, fame and status to the native. Moon being the karaka for fame and sun being the karaka for authority. That means person will be so famous that he will be considered an authority into something will come at the age of 21 which generally indicates person having academic brilliance despite the fact that he may not be well read. This combination was present in the horoscope of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahans, who was considered and is, who was, you know, established as a spiritual authority by the age of 21, clearly hinting about the authenticity and the brilliance of my research. Shubha Malog researches have a level of quality 
Look, have a level of quality, authenticity, and brilliance, right? That you have to believe in. See, astrology is like Guru Mukhi Vidya, which is passed on from the teacher to disciple. And in all such disciplines, be it mantra, chanting, worshipping, jyotish, anything, trust is the foremost stone. Right? So my teachings only work for you when you trust in the teaching. The combination of Sun and Mars gets activated at the age of 13, 31st, 4th and 3rd year of life. Sun Mercury combinations get activated at the years of 14, 41, 5th and 4th year of life. Sun Jupiter combination gets activated at 15th year of life, 51st year of life, 5th year of life and 6th year of life. Sun Venus combination gets activated at 16th year, 61st year, 7th year and 6th year of life. Sun Saturn combination gets activated at 17th year of life, 71st year of life, 8th year of life, and 7th year of life. Sun Rahu combination gets activated at 18th year of life, 81st year of life, 9th year of life, and 8th year of life. You know, like Sun Rahu combination, Rahu indicates cheating, Sun indicates father. So maybe you father, your father have done something which makes you feel that you have been cheated. Your father is not doing his responsibility. And this your father will do when you are nine years of age and eight years of age. And this you will realize by 18 years of age. And another result of Rahu making the results huge and son giving name, fame, status, huge name, fame and status, making the person immortal. This result will happen at the age of 81, provided the fact that there is longevity enough to live up to the age of 81. Sun Ketu combination activates at the 9th year of life, 10th year of life, 19th year of life and 91st year of life. Moon Mars combination gets activated into 5th year of life, 6th year of life, 23rd year of life and 32nd year of life. Moon Mercury combination gets activated at 6th year of life, 8th year of life, 24th and 42nd year of life. Moon Jupiter combination gets activated at 7th year of age, 10th year of age, 25th year of age and 52nd year of age. Moon Venus combination gets activated at 8th year of life, 12th year of life, 26th year of life and 62nd year of life. Moon Saturn combination gets activated at 9th year of age, 14th, 27th and 72nd year of life. Moon Rahu combination gets activated at the age of 10, 16, 28 and 82. Moon Ketu combination gets activated at the age of 11, 18, 29 and 92. Mars Mercury combination gets activated at the age of 7, 12, 34 and 43. Mars Jupiter combination at 8th, 15th, 35th, and 53rd year of life. Mars Venus combination at 9th, 18th, 36th, and 63rd year of life. Mars Saturn combination gets activated at 10th, 21st, 73rd, and 37th year of life. Mars Rahu combination gets activated at 11th, 24th, 83rd, and 38th year of life. Mars Ketu combination gets activated at 12th year, 27th year, 39th year, and 93rd year of life. Mercury-Jupiter combination gets activated at 9th, 20th, 45th and 54th year of life. Mercury-Venus combination gets activated at 10th, 24th, 64th and 46th year of life. Mercury-Saturn combination gets activated at 11 years of age, 28 years of age, 47 years of age and 74 years of age. Mercury-Rahu combination gets activated at 12th year of life, 32nd year of life, 84th year of life and 48th year of life. Mercury Ketu combination gets activated at the age of 13, 36, 49, and 94. Jupiter Venus combination gets activated at the age of 11, 30, 56, and 65. Jupiter Saturn combination gets activated at the age of 12, 35, 57, and 75. Jupiter Rahu combination, Guru Chandali Yoga, it is known as, gets activated at the age of 30, 40, 58, and 85. Jupiter Ketu combination gets activated at the age of 14, 45, 59, and 95 years of life. Venus Saturn combination gets activated at the age of 13, 42nd, 67th and 76th year of life. Venus Rahu combination gets activated at the age of 14, 48, 68 and 86. Venus Ketu combination gets activated at the age of 15, 54, 69 and 96 years of life. Saturn Rahu combination gets activated at 15th year of life, 56th year of life, 78th year of life and 87th year of life. And Saturn Ketu combination gets activated at the age of 16 years of life, 63rd year of life, 79th year of life, and 97th year of life. Right? This is when the yogas get activated. 
and this particular thing i have been using it since very very long and this have given me great results you can use this with closed eyes just see the combination you should know how to read a combination and then it will do rest of the work i have made it almost automated for an example to help you with this i will show you an example chat let's try reading the chat you know you can predict complete life just using this particular combination just using this particular thing you can read the complete life of the native yeah here we go you see in this particular horoscope the first we have to read the horoscope you see there is ketu in the ascendant rahu in the 7th house mars saturn in the 8th house venus in the 9th house mercury sun in the 10th house and moon jupiter in the 3rd house now this moon jupiter combination is known as gajageshri yoga basically normal result moon indicates the mind jupiter indicates religion so the person have to be religiously inclined so because it is a moon jupiter combination the religious inclination of the native will start by the age of the first activation of moon jupiter by the age of 7th year and the 10th year the person will find himself being spiritually inclined at the age of 25 there will be great progress in spiritual inclination initiation getting into a parampara meeting guru etc will happen and by the age of 52 the complete fructification the complete blooming of the spiritual part of personality will get complete right in the same manner there are other combination there are other results for moon jupiter combination as well moon indicates being a king and jupiter indicates being a minister so the person will be advisor to someone who is highly placed in the society that means person is working into a big company in the position of an advisor when the person is supposed to get the job at the age of 25 now see moon jupiter combination gets activated at 7th and 10th year of life also but because we are talking of getting job as an advisor that cannot happen at 7 years of life or 10 years of life so this will happen at 25th year of life right or at the age of 52 around retirement the person can start a business which deals with advising people advising businessmen or advising those who are situated in at a high pedestal in society right now here you see moon is the lord of the second house jupiter is the lord of the seventh house jupiter is the lord of the 10th house 10th lord and second lord in combination generally indicates person enjoys much fun person enjoys great position in his professional life now because this yoga gets activated at the age of 25 from 25th to 26th year of life the changes which will put this person into an authoritative professional position will come to pass second lord and seventh lord second lord and seventh lord connection also indicates problems in marriage at the age of 25 and at the age of 52 problems in marriage can be there right in the same manner mars saturn combination you can judge the result of mars saturn combination comes at the age of 10 21 73 and 37 mars saturn combination generally makes a person meet with accidents small or big whatever in this horoscope because mars is exalted saturn is in own rashi they both are good it have to be a very small accident that will be at the age of 10 here you see mars is the lord of the 11th house saturn is the lord of the 9th house that is generally good combination which tells me that the person earns great amount of money by his luck this earning great amount of money because this yoga gets activated at the age of 21 and then at the age of 37 
we should say that from 21st year of age onwards person will have great financial fortune and after the age of 37 another great jump another great leap in the financial fortune will come to pass accordingly all the combinations of the horoscope can be judged and predictions can be made you know there is a hype of like my subscribers are of a standard basically right i have subscribers and followers who possess a level of standard and standard right so my followers may not be knowing this but those in the astrological world roaming here and there should be knowing that there is a concept of Birgu Patrika, Lal Kita Patrika, etc. You know, there is a there is a concept of that you get a hundred page horoscope describing all the events of your life written, etc. You know, this is also found out. How these results are made, I don't know how other astrologers make it. They generally compile the result of different different combinations from different different books and print it out using a software and give this hundred page horoscope, which is equal to nothing but a waste in your home, whatever. But the concept of making a complete horoscope of a newborn child right at the time of his birth, writing whatever is going to happen in his life with age and handing it over to the parents of the child, which later on gets handed on to the child itself, is not new but is very ancient. Using this method of mind, this can be easily achieved. You can take the horoscope of the child, take the result of the combinations, when these combinations are going to fructify and can tell. In this particular horoscope, you see Saturn is aspecting Sun. This is one-sided aspect. So the result of Sun-Saturn aspect Saturn aspecting sun will come at the age of 17, 71, 8 and 7. Because Saturn is aspecting sun, some misery, grief on account of father, the native will have to suffer. That he will suffer at the age of 10, at the age of 8, at the age of 7 and at the age of 17. The sun is the lord of the third house. <clears throat> Saturn is the lord of the ninth house. And the 10th house as well. The Lord of the 3rd house son getting, connect, getting influenced by the Lord of the 8th house. Saturn generally indicates bad result for sibling. The Sun-Saturn combination also gets activated at the age of 71 and it can be confidently predicted that the person will lose his sibling at the age of 71. So this concept of, you know, making a Nadi horoscope, making a Nadi Patrika or making a hundred page horoscope, which contains all details about what thing will happen at what age in life can be easily made using this method of mine, using this research of mine that I have revealed in this video. And believe me, any combination, any technique to do this, you will ever come across. The research that I have revealed today is more powerful, more accurate than any of these techniques that have been ever known to the astrological world. Do this for three, four horoscopes. Do this for your own chart. Write the age when all the yogas are to be fructified and also write the result of these yogas and check it yourself and enjoy the brilliancy of the technique. Thank you for watching the video. Namaskar.